what is up guys what is up so I have some uh, as you probably can tell by the video it's some pretty like good and bad news but um it's kind of sad I'm kind of mad about it but hey it was bound to happen but before we get into that I just got some good stuff here for the GoPro I finally got a uh, like a tripod mount or like a kind of like an octopus mount for the DLSR and also for the GoPro and then um, I got a I got a mic so that's gonna be awesome and then got another mount and then what is this guy this is just the case for the mic and then got some more memory cards so pretty stoked about that we're gonna go take a we're just gonna go check out and see how this mic does in the car because um, I'm excited that I'm gonna be able to do some uh, more vlogs and stuff in the car and you guys will be able to hear me through the GoPro so let's get to the car so I don't even actually know if this mic is working so probably just rip me if it's not working but if it is it's probably gonna sound a lot better than just using the GoPro so I'll just like give you guys a quick rundown um, I was actually supposed to be at, at a track day today, uh, like September 22nd, like this is a Friday. Supposed to be at a track day. Um, unfortunately, the Miata did not check out. So literally, I was I was really mad about it. But in the end, so what happened? Dropped the car off Tuesday. Oh, this light is terrible right here. Let's see if we can get this. Ooh, ooh. Oh, we got it. There we go. So I dropped the car off Tuesday. I'm at Track Minor Performance. Uh, his name's Mike, he's awesome. Love the guy, that's where I take my car, the Miata. He knows everything about it, track preps and everything. Just make sure it's good for the track. So uh, get a call from him. And uh, actually Kevin took my car over there for me and supposedly like the car wasn't idling and I was like, that's crazy because when I was driving it all around, like the car was idling fine for me. And uh, so Kevin calls me, he's like, it's not idling correctly. He got to the shop, uh, like so it's all good. Nothing happened, he got the car to the shop. And turns out the coolant is really low, so that's why I was idling wrong. And then also, um, he went around and it looks like it was leaking boost, which I knew that because the wastegate is still getting stuck open. So I know why I was leaking boost and the wastegate was kind of being like funky and all that. And then the big thing that Mike hit me with was uh the oil pan is leaking so a lot of like miatas miata owners know that the oil pan or you get like oil leaks over like with a lot of miles on your with on your car but with being turboed that just um it puts a lot more strain and like stress on the motor so basically uh it's such a bad oil leak that i would have to pull the motor in order just to replace like the seal around the the whole oil pan um because you know like you can't uh change the oil pan unless you drop the subframe or you have to pull the motor in the autos so kind of bummed about that but then at the same time like i wouldn't be able to go to the track day because i can't in reality i wouldn't be able to go to the track day the car is still drivable but if you take it on the track you're likely just gonna risk like blowing it up on the track or the oil pan will even leak anymore and then you'll have to pay for the damage that you do to the track so that is why I'm not doing the track day. I'm kind of bummed about it, but the good news about that is there will be a swap coming. So um, I will be swapping the Miata with a different motor, not a Miata motor. So I'll let you guys think of what the new uh, swap is gonna be down, just throw a comment down below and uh, we'll see what you guys think the Miata is gonna be swapped with. But the swap is definitely coming soon. I think I said swap a lot right there. Sorry about that but i'm excited it's going to be a lot stronger a lot better uh and it's actually probably the cheapest swap that you can probably do in a miata i know taylor uh ray did a whole video about that and all the swaps that he mentioned actually is not the swap that i'm doing so uh like swaps in miata if you're going to do it good they're probably around 10k this swap that i'm going to do is probably about seven thousand dollars altogether and um, so I'm pretty excited about it. It should be coming soon, just saving up a little bit more money for it. But that is bad news about the Miata and why we haven't made too many videos on it just because we had that small issue and I was trying to get it ready for the track. But seats are now ready. Um, I got the new, the new brackets in there too. So it all checks out. Um, just like have to do the motor swap now and um, so I'm gonna be selling my turbo kit and all that. I think I actually have another I have a guy that is actually going to be doing that for me um, But 
I am really excited for it. So I hope you guys are too. Hopefully this mic worked. If not, I'm gonna go back and look at it. But it's always GPG. There's a lot more content coming. Even for the Mustang, do not worry. I'm excited. We're gonna do all kinds of crazy videos. You ready for more videos of the Mustang? Oh, yeah? All right, <laughs> those of you that don't know, this is my girlfriend, Mallory. But uh, anyways, guys, I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. And uh, as a member of GBG, peace out and see you in the next one.